What is going on guys, my name is Bedfast Duck, and today I wanted to talk about a buff that came to one of the portal weapons, the ACWR, in Battlefield 2042. Now you all may have noticed that this gun has been showing up quite a bit since the Season 5's update dropped, and that's because of the unique damage profile that the ACWR has with the rate of fire it has as well. Now the ACWR is capable of hitting 28 to the body at its max damage range, and that means that within that max damage range of 29 meters, you'll be getting 4 shot kills guaranteed, this is not even mixing in headshots in. Now, this damage is not really unique to the gun itself, in fact there are a handful of assault rifles including the new GEW-46 that share that 28 damage model, however something that is noticeable is the range at which the ACWR is doing this damage. Anywhere within 29 meters will assure that 4 shot kill and it's kinda crazy when you look at the rate of fire for this gun. For reference, the GEW with its spec out for max range can only hit that 28 damage model within 19 19 meters, and the only way that you do that is to reduce that rate of fire to 622 rounds per minute, which is much, much slower than ACWR's 735 rounds per minute. The only other assault rifle that's really able to outrange the ACW is the SFARM and the RM68, which both have that slower rate of fire. Now I'm not calling for a straight damage nerf by any means, as this damage model speeds up the time to kill, which is something I think Battlefield 2042 has needed since reducing a lot of the game modes to the 64 player cap. It does put time to kill more in line with Battlefield 3 and 4, but I do feel like the range fall off for the ACWR itself is a bit weird considering it's such a high rate of fire compared to those other assault rifles in the 28 damage category, but I want to know what you guys think. Is DICE done right by the ACWR, or should it be reined in slightly? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like, and if you're new to the channel and enjoy this type of content, please be sure to subscribe. 